On a completely unrelated note, the Cleveland Indians have won two in a row against the Texas Rangers, but the big event in sports was the Stanley Cup Finals. How Milan Lucic scored the first two goals of the contest for the Boston Bruins, then Brandon Saad cut the lead to one. Tyler Sagan got a, received a pass from Yamir Yager in the third period, and he passed the puck to Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron scores on a wrist shot, and the Blackhawks defenders appear to be focused on containing Yager. There were three defensemen near the right wing playing defense, trying to isolate Yager, and that created some opening. Yager's able to get a pass off to Sagan, and Sagan's one-on-one -on -one with another Blackhawks defender, and then it's just Bergeron versus Corey Crawford. There's a little bit of an opening, some room, and Bergeron's able to capitalize on that. The Bruins go up 3-1. 13 minutes left in the third period. You're thinking, game over. Boston's got this. But no. Seconds later, Dave Boland scores 3-2 Bruins. Donnie Oduya, Johnny Oduya ties it at 3 on a wrist shot. That would remain the score in regulation. Neither team scored in the first overtime. 47-37 Chicago led shots on goal after the first overtime. And both goaltenders made tremendous saves in this contest. Chicago was 0-3 for three on the power play. Boston's PK stepped up. And you have to applaud Char and company for doing so with this penalty killing unit. Double overtime, Tyler Sagan in a breakaway, saved by Corey Crawford. And another play in triple overtime involved Johnny Oduya tripping one of the Boston skaters, which prevented a game winning goal. You saw some plays where things weren't as they seemed. And then Michael Roosevelt with a shot, Andrew Flaw Andrew Shaw. Andrew Shaw deflects the shot. Tips it in. Chicago caps off a 4-3 win. Three unanswered goals after trailing the Bruins 3-1 in the third period. And the Chicago Blackhawks will take game one of this series. Both coaches, Claude Julian and Joel Quinville, were prepped up, fired up before this game. There was a lot of strategy, a lot of motivation. And when you're leading 3-1 in the third period and you blow it, you send the game to overtime, triple overtime. You deserve to lose game one, especially when the opposing team's out shooting you. So you have to applaud the Chicago Blackhawks for coming back and winning the game. you got to criticize the Bruins for not maintaining that lead. This is Chris Ransom for Draft Utopia. Feel free to tweet your thoughts to at CMR Ransom, at CMR in all caps, and then a capital R for Ransom, and then A-N-S-O-M can tweet your thoughts on the game game two is friday night so we'll see you then day 36 is in the books